Hey guys, so today I really feel like we need to have a sit down talk. Um, it's been a while since I've done that and kind of told you what's been going on, uh, what to expect on the channel, what I've noticed on the channel, etc., etc. There are a couple things I want to address. I think that people are panicking about a little bit. So yeah, I think it would be a good idea to just make a video on it since a lot of people don't follow my Twitter. So what I'm gonna be talking about in this video is first of all, what's going on with streaming. Second of all, what's happening with Death Stranding. And third of all, what you will expect on the channel, what games we're going to be playing and where we're going from here kind of thing. So first things first to address with you is the streaming. A lot of you guys are panicking. I mean, my stomach won't stop growling guys. So if you hear my stomach growling, just ignore that. I, I, I'm gonna go eat lunch after this, but um, people are panicking, absolutely panicking that I'm going into full-time streaming. I am not, I'm not, okay? My first primary, oh, man, my stomach. My YouTube channel has always been where my priorities lie. That is my primary focus. That's like my baby that I have created from the beginning until now. I've, you know, helped make this community as well as you guys have helped make this community. So like that, that is always the most important aspect for me. Streaming, I just, it will always be secondary to that. Basically, I will only be streaming every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So one day a week out of the whole week, I'll be streaming with the community. I totally understand you guys and your concern though. I get it because, you know, streaming, people feel like it's more of a communal thing. You, you're you talking to the chat, you're playing the game. It is, it is. it's like hanging out with a group of people versus a video where it's a little bit more personal with me kind of just talking with you one-on-one -on -one and playing the game. I, I understand that. So. Of course, I see where you're coming from. I just want to clear that up because a lot of people, even though I keep telling them I'm not going into full-time streaming, people are ignoring what I'm saying and they're just panicking. So I think maybe just addressing it in this video will clear it up. It'll be one time a week, okay? One time a week. Everything will be fine. It will be okay. I promise we'll be all right. I'm not going anywhere, okay? And I also understand, you know, with the stream, a lot of people miss that and so, with a video, it can be on their own time when they want to watch these, say, three days after it's been uploaded, stuff like that. So I get it for convenience sake as well. Now we need to go into the Death Stranding aspect of this because the last video that I uploaded of Death Stranding, the comment sections are, it's a disaster, guys. It's an absolute disaster. Like I woke up this morning, I looked at it and was just like, holy shit, <laughs> what has happened? You know, it's, it's like a war zone. And I mean, almost every, every video that I've uploaded of that game has been like a war zone. It, I don't know what is around it. You know, the, the difference in there's 50% of people that like it and there's 50% of people that absolutely fucking hate it. Every game that I actually play on the channel, there's a reason behind why I play it. And it's not just because I want to play it. It's not because, oh, hey, this game is a big title that's coming out that will bring people in. Like, no, not at all. That's why I even play older games is because you guys have suggested it. That is a major part, a major decision in why I'm playing a game or giving a game a chance in the first place is because you guys want to see me play it and you guys say that it's going to be a good game that I would really enjoy it and that you guys would enjoy watching it as well. So like for instance, Dark Souls 3, that has been suggested. Luca's drinking out of the toilet right now as we speak. The audacity of that dog, I swear. You, I'm talking to you. You've got another thing coming if you think you can just drink out of that toilet. Oh, he just hit his head on the table. Okay, what I was saying is Dark Souls 3 has been suggested on the channel for so long, like well over a year when I started playing Bloodborne, you guys said that I should play that game, that I would have a lot of fun with it. And then we had Sekiro and people still wanted to see Dark Souls 3, they kept suggesting it. So primarily the reason why I'm playing that game is because you guys have wanted to see me play it as well as I know I'm gonna fucking enjoy it because it's a FromSoft game and I love FromSoft games. And then we have Batman, right? And Batman was suggested by the community when I played Spider-Man. Everybody said that that would be another game that I would really enjoy. So I started playing that as well. 
every game on this channel I have started playing because you guys also would enjoy watching it. I have never just been like, you know what, I'm gonna play this game regardless of what they say. I always take you guys into account because I care. So because I wanted to make the stream something that the community wanted to watch, I actually made a poll asking what you guys wanted to see for the first stream. It was between Death Stranding, Days Gone, and Control, and everybody, the majority, like a massive amount of people, chose for me to stream Death Stranding for the first one. Everybody also knew that I was gonna be insanely nervous for the first stream because I, I have social anxiety, I've never done it before, um, multitasking, I've never had to do that before between a chat and playing the game. So this knowledge was known during the stream and I think that's why during the stream people were really supportive and then during the re-upload um, people have been really not supportive. And the only reason why I did re-upload that because I, Honestly, guys, I'm I'm probably never going to re-upload a stream again after what has happened. Um, it just it doesn't end up working. A stream going into a video or being re-uploaded as a video on YouTube, people don't like watching it. They don't enjoy it as much. And I get that because you can't see the chat. You're not a part of the chat. Um, so you're probably not going to see any missed streams re-uploaded on the channel. There will be a separation there. I feel like it's best, at least for now, to have that there. But the only reason why I had re-uploaded Death Stranding is because people had asked for me to, so they could still see it. And then the whole comment section is just ripping me apart on how I wasn't paying attention, how I missed so much stuff, how it was bad, how streaming is bad. So reading all of that was super discouraging for me. And then watching the views for Death Stranding just plummet. You guys, it has plummeted since the first episode or two. So that in and of itself is telling me that you guys don't want to actually watch it, or at least a majority of you guys are not interested in this game. If that is the case, and that's what I'm seeing overall, I'm going to drop it because there's no point in me dedicating my attention towards a game that a majority does not want to see me play when I can dedicate my attention to games that people actually want to see me play on the channel. And I want to set it straight that that does not mean I s dislike the game, and it does not mean I overly like the game. It has... It, there's no opinion either way. Personally, I thought the story was really intriguing, and every time I played the game, that was where I wanted to be. Like, I just wanted more of the cinematic story. So really, at the moment, I'm, I'm in this point where I feel like the comments have been super toxic. It seems like people don't really care to watch this game. I've read a lot of them saying that they like me and that's why they'll watch it, but they're not interested in the game at all. That to me is saying a lot that there's, I shouldn't be uploading that. I should be dedicating it to what you guys really want to watch. And I know the community around Death Stranding is probably going to hate me saying all this or hate me if I drop it, but it ultimately doesn't come down to, it doesn't come down to that because I can always play it in my free time off camera. It comes down to what you guys want to see. I, it has always come down to what you guys want to see as well. That is important to me. So yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with Death Stranding. I may not upload any more of that. I may just stream it as well, um, but I still need to stream a couple other games. So. We'll see where that takes us, and that kind of leads into the next portion of what I wanted to talk about is what you're going to expect on the channel, what we're going to be playing, what we're going to be finishing up, things like that. So, so you guys feel like you're in the loop and you know what to expect at least immediate future. We, we have a lot of games coming out next year as well. I think March we have Final Fantasy. Um, you guys really want to see me play the remake. I want to play it because you guys are pumping me up and making me excited to play it. And when you guys are excited to see me play something, I get excited to play something. Reading the comments, we can all be excited. Like, I live for that shit. So I really want to check that game out when that comes out. But that's in March. That's a ways off. We also have Cyberpunk. I want to check that out. That's a ways off. And we have The Last of Us 2, and that is a ways off, guys. So those games, you know we can say that that's not immediate future. That's that's a while from now, but immediate future. Right now we have Batman Arkham Knight on the channel. That I want to wrap up 
people are scared that I'm going to drop that game. That's not the case. The only thing that happened was I got super addicted to Dark Souls 3. I'm still really addicted to it. All I want to do is play that fucking game. That's all I want to do, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another game to look forward to is Elden Ring. So we have Batman Arkham Knight that will be finished for sure. We have Dark Souls 3, which will be finished for sure as well because I fucking love it. That one's going to take me a bit longer though. Like I can see that playthrough um, being over the span of some months since, you know, when it takes a lot of effort to beat a boss. It takes multiple tries. So that I can see being a little bit longer, but it will be finished. And then we actually got the opportunity, guys, to play the Star Wars game. And I'm super excited because I caught some gameplay of it and it looks really fucking good, as well as it's being compared gameplay wise to um, a Souls game. And I think that's kind of intriguing to see that because it, it seems like it's going to be something that could be a little bit more lighthearted and fun to play, but also challenging when it comes to bosses and um, enemies and stuff. So I think that would be fun as well as I'm a newbie. Like I'm a total noob to the Star Wars community. I think I've watched the two newest movies and I have heard from Star Wars fans that those movies were garbage <laughs> and that I should have never watched them, um, but that the originals were really, really good. So obviously I think most people would want me to read a summary before I start playing that game or obviously watch the movies, but I don't have a ton of time on my hands to be watching movies all the time. So at the least I'll read a summary to get the basis of things and kind of go into it blind. So you'll be experiencing it from somebody who's never really been a part of that community before. It's kind of like when I played Spider-Man, I wasn't really a part of that whole community before, but that's what made it really fun was learning that over the course of the game and then just being like absolutely, just absolutely grabbed by the game itself and the, and the environment and the community. I think that will be really fun for us to experience. So we have those three games to look forward to. I'm not quite sure just yet when I'm going to start Star Wars on the channel, um, but I think it will be really fun. Death Stranding, it's probably gonna be dropped considering the views are so low. And then as for streaming, I got a big chunk of control done, so we should be able to wrap that up. And then Days Gone was also very much suggested by you guys to stream, so we'll probably look into that. And I don't know if Death Stranding will go over there being streamed or not. I'm not sure yet. Have to gauge what you guys say in the comments down below kind of go from there. Other than that stuff, which is channel related, my life in general, I am busy like 24 seven. Winter kind of hit me hard with like the whole seasonal depression kind of aspect of things, but I feel like I am working constantly. Um, and, and that's where it gets a little defeating when you put like, you know, four hours into an edit um, and then like three hours waiting for for all of that stuff to be uploaded and then making the thumbnail and doing the description and blah, blah, blah. And then having people just like rip you apart in the comment section, you're just like, oh my God. <laughs> and I've had some days where chronic pain has hit me and it has just knocked me on my ass for like two days straight. So still going through that. If you guys would honestly like a health video update, let me know in the comments down below because I haven't made one since the original one of this channel. Um, but I could let you guys know more on that stuff if you are interested in it. But other than that, I've been all right. I mean, I love what I do. Part of me working so hard is because I love doing it. So um, I don't, I just don't want you guys to ever think that I don't care about the community because that's, um, Pardon my language, but it's utter bullshit. I love you guys and I don't want you to think otherwise, okay? So I think that's that's pretty much everything that I had to say in this video. Um, literally creating this after watching the Death Stranding video go up, so I might have this up tonight for you guys, like the day of, which hopefully you'll all watch it and be understanding at least to some extent, or it'll help give you some info or address some things that you were scared or concerned about. But yeah, I hope this helps. I hope this helps everyone. Streaming one day a week. You can find the Twitch channel in the description down below. 
aside from that nothing is gonna change guys nothing's gonna change i promise you make sure to check out the links in the description leave a like if you enjoyed and thanks for watching guys